All right, everyone. We need to talk about these Pokemon tier lists, all right? Equip gamer gear. There we go. Now I can make a video. I was looking on this Pokemon tier list website because everyone likes Pokemon tier lists, right? Everyone enjoys a good tier list and debating opinions and telling other people they're wrong. I love telling other people that they're wrong. I was just kind of scrolling down it and, and, and this is like an undiscovered treasure trove of banter. It's pure, unadulterated banter here. So let's just have a look and see what we have. So on the Pokemon tier list templates, someone had to create every single one of these. So for example, if we go into the Pokemon one, there is one for every single original 151 Pokemon along with their Alolan forms and Mega forms. So we have an odd list. I guess this is for like, let's go or something, but you, you get what I mean. Someone had to go in and create this. Someone had to create one for all of the games. I already filled this out. I guess someone had to go ahead and create one for their Pokemon wives that actually doesn't have any wives on. And wait, I can't click on anything either. I think this just froze my, this just froze my browser. All right. Well, apparently uh, my eyes are too pure to lay them on Pokey waifus. Uh, I am not a weeb enough to access the safe and the the sacred scripts that allow you to talk to Pokemon waifus, apparently. But we have things like best legendaries, best starters, Pokemon Infinite Fusion. What? Bro, there's like 200,000 different variations. There's no way. What's this? Wait, what? What, do, what, what is this? Only final evolutions and some others if they're uh, based on if they're strong enough, either stat wise or in conjunction with other items. What? I, 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 don't, I, well, I don't understand this, but we have like some of the strangest things. People make tier lists of the strangest things. I understand that people enjoy a good tier list. I mean, like I love it too. And people literally make nothing but the same ones over and over again. Like no one can decide on one to use. Then you got like Ash's Pokemon, which probably won't have all of Ash's Pokemon. Did this just crash my my browser again? All right, this one doesn't want to seem to open either. So some of them just kind of crash your browser. You got things like Pokemon Reborn Gym Leaders. A bit of a specific thing, but like, all right, that kind of makes sense. You got Pokey Professors too. So if I were to go into Pokey Professors, I could put whoever this is right there and there's Professor Burnett. And then we kind of scroll down a little bit and it gets, it's, it seems to get a little bit stranger. Like the more you scroll and a little bit more specific, like fully evolved bird Pokemon. <laughs> That's an incredibly specific tier list. But okay, I'd put something like this. Wait a minute, fully evolved bird Pokemon. That's not even a flying type. And if I go back here, it says flying on it. This is fake news right there. Fake news, I say. And then you have things like all bird Pokemon lol for when you really wanted to laugh out loud. Oh no, says rank all damn burbs and suck toes. So in order to do this tier list, I would assume you have to have some toes at the ready to plunge into your mouth. Otherwise you're not allowed to do it. Also, this was given a poop rating by someone. I'm sorry, whoever created this, maybe they gave the poop rating to their own tier list. That'd be a little bit heartbreaking, but like, look, like we have a lot of bird Pokemon here. That's kind of cool. And we have things like this. Fish Pokemon, except they use a severed fish head to display that. Sure, just, yeah, just have a, okay, a severed fish head. What kind of tier list is this? Oh, this, what are you, okay, all right. <laughs> they have all of the fish Pokemon here normally. And then for Magikarp, they had the plated up delicious five-star Michelin star meal. And we have things like, okay, we can just rate that. We can literally rate that as not a fish. So that's pretty much ideal, isn't it? Ah, and then we have Pokey Chicas again. Let's see what Pokey, Ch again, it's the Pokey Girls. People are really, okay, I, oh no. And they have it in a different language too. So, ah, oh, yeah, I definitely can't read that one. Shiny Pokemon emotes, interesting. E emotes about, oh my God, they're literally emotes. Are these from like different streamers? These are from different streamers. They just stole emotes from, they stole streamer emotes and just put them in a tier list. What's all this about? So for example, I could put like, <laughs> if we 
wait, is that A drives? I don't even know. Dude, they I, they just put freaking streamer emotes on here. What, what's, what's going on with that? Ah, here's a good one. Starter Birds Political Compass. Right. Child's Entertainment Basic Birds are political because I said so. Right. Okay. Interesting. This doesn't even make sense. This doesn't... It's, it's not even a... Oh, wait. You can put this in a quadrant view. Oh, I've seen one of these before. So I could say that, like, Starly is a heavily right-wing you know, libertarian, but then I could say that, for example, Pidgey is full on communist. And I mean, you wouldn't be able to dispute that because it's like my opinion. You have to respect my opinion. Pidgeot is definitely right in the middle. One of those little boundary sitters, one of those sit in the middle and make everyone happy moderates and so on and so forth. Even though Pidgey's full on communist, you know, when you get older, I guess you, you kind of like fall down the line a little bit from full on communism to kind of sitting in the middle. And then Starley's just at the other end, like, hey, I don't like anyone, not from wherever the country is, uh, whatever. And you have a list called top 10 cutest Pokemon and I swear to God, oh, okay. <gasps> Good, okay, they have Forret and Growlithe here. I was gonna say, if they don't have Forret and Growlithe on this list, then this list is wrong. They also have Rockruff and they have Rowlet. So this is this list is perfectly fine. Any other Pokemon don't matter and they're not cute. Okay, so let me just go ahead and fix this list up right now. Let me go ahead, that's right, all the way to the top. There we go, buddy. See, that's all this list really needs. Top 10 cutest Pokemon tier list. There you go, that could be a video in and of itself. Top 10 Q's Pokemon. Number one is Forrest. Damn it, I'm reducing the amount of overall content that I can make. Ash's ability as a trainer. See, this one doesn't make any sense to me. Because Ash has no ability as a trainer. How do you rank Ash's ability as a trainer? In every anime saga, from the Indigo League to the Alola League, sense. Well, wait, where's fifth gen? Which one of these is fifth gen? Wait, I can't even tell. Is it? Wait, yeah. Which which one is this? Which one is fifth? Which one is fifth gen? Is fifth gen even here? This is third gen. That's uh, I don't even know that actually. This is, oh no, I think this is fifth gen. All right, I'll put that straight into D tier because my man Pikachu got absolutely mollywopped by a level five Snivy, so you're going straight into D tier. And we have one of the fan favorites, a Pokemon Mega Evolution design tier list. Except the profile picture is just someone's forehead. Forehead, just chilling here, by the way. The list was made by my own opinion, don't be salty. What do you mean it was made by your own opinion? That there's nothing on here. How can people be salty when it's blank? You can't be angry at a lack of opinion. Well, I mean, I guess actually you can. We view community rank. There's nothing to show. How can you be angry at literally nothing? I, I've seen the internet, actually. I've seen the YouTube comment section and my Twitter mentions. People get angry at nothing all of the time. Ah, yes, finally, one that applies to me. The Poketuber tier list. Now it's just a simple question of locating myself on this tier list. Here I... Not on here, am I? No, I actually am! Yay! There we go! That a tier list accomplished. Pokemon protagonist personalities. You can't rank that. What do you, you What? You can't rank their personalities? They don't have any personalities. Have you seen the character in Sun and Moon? He just sits there and smiles like an Oblivion character. Oblivion NPCs have more personality than these characters. Also, you seem to have cut off the heads of literally every single person in this. Is there anyone in here that has a head? Oh, we found one, it's Let's Go. Let's Go is the only one with a head, so they love their Pokemon and battles. Loves their Pokemon and battles them. Cuddles with their Pokemon. Purely uses their Pokemon for battles. Just shiny hunts. Throws their Pokemon off a roof daily. I mean, honestly, if you looked, if you seen this guy, absolutely throws their Pokemon off a roof daily. Bro, what is, what am I, I'm delving. This is like when you go to like the third page of Google, like any Google result. If you go off the first page, you're gonna go into the Twilight Zone and I feel like I've delved into that right now. So there's just a tier list here that says, are you a good Christian boy? I don't even think I wanna open this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, okay. Protect, lewd, or B, C, and D. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, D is for Delphox and B is for Bardevoir. Oh no, it's another Pokemon YouTubers one. Honestly, I was expecting not to be on the first one. I wouldn't be surprised. Yes! Wait, yes, I'm not on this one. I can't be put in the D tier if I'm not on the list to begin with. A, uh, but Callum's here, so I'll put Callum on S tier because Callum's a good friend of mine. Actually, I'm friends with like a lot of the people here. 
So you know what? I, I, everyone gets an S. Congratulations. <laughs> I was scrolling through here and I found a world of tanks tier list in the Pokemon section. Oh yeah, buddy. This is the kind of content I want. Off world, underrated. I really like the nozzle on this one. It gets an S. And you, wow, you have a big long schlong. You get an S plus. Man, I love World of Tanks. I wish I was sponsored by them so I could say that, because that would be a really good segue if I was sponsored by them to find it randomly here. And then I could be like, whoa, I'm sponsored by World of Tanks. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by World of Tanks. I'm, I'm not really sponsored by anything actually. But if you want to sponsor me, you can just like this video. Or if you actually want to sponsor me, you can become a member to the channel. If you check the link in the description, you can become a member to the channel. You get emotes, you get a special badge next to your name, you get to join the sub discord, you get discount on merchandise, you get to see videos early, you get a bunch of benefits. But most of all, you get to support the channel. Because basically, if it wasn't for members and subscribers on Twitch, I wouldn't still be here. So, shout out to you guys. I appreciate you. You're fantastic. But basically, I am ready to get out of the Twilight Zone now. I have had enough of World of Tanks and I'm ready to get back to uh, normality, pure normality. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to destroy that like button or have this video. You know, we'll probably do more tier list videos in the future as well, but I will see you guys then. Make sure to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram too for all the cool things that I do. The links are in the description. I'm not going anywhere until you click those links. I'm not going anywhere. You, you do, go and click the links. Go and follow me on Twitch. I stream every day there. You're missing out on content if you don't. Go and follow me on Instagram. I post every day there, especially my story. My stories are great. And go and film me on Twitter. My tweets are spectacular. Did you guys do it? All right, cool. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you so much to our Twitch subs and YouTube members of the day. Remember, if you are a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber, that both gives you access to the sub Discord. And I appreciate you supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys.